What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this Monday, May 30th, Memorial Day uh, 2022 date, about 1.05 p.m. West Coast time. Latest quake shows a 3.6 earthquake into the area of South America down here into the Chile region. It looks like 109 kilometers for that uh, earthquake there down in that region of the world. Let's go ahead and check out the other map here, flat scale map and uh, taking a look at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity 2.5 and above for the states and territories and um, 4.0 for in international uh, watching a line of activity throughout the south america region of course we've seen that uh, activity kick up on the earthquake 3d globe a lot of that is below the 4.0 threshold that the uh, usgs uses but in this case here uh, they're putting up a couple fours there's definitely a large cluster of uh, uh, magnitude quakes under the 4.0 level that are occurring here within the Peru Chile Trench today. Uh, so, watching that region pretty closely. Uh, Puerto Rico area did see a little bit of uptick uh, overnight. Nothing significant. Uh, Got to pull up the all magnitudes here to see a little bit of more of the microquake activity. But uh, most of it up here around the Mono Seamount. And just north of the Puerto Rico area, a couple quakes are kicking up. Uh, eastern part of the country, been having a little bit of movement uh, right around the North Carolina region. Also, uh, Virginia, seen a 2.3 as well yesterday. Uh, New Madrid zone within this region looks pretty quiet today, not a whole lot showing up. Uh, pretty spotty activity throughout Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, West Coast region, we did have a three pointer kick off the coast here, or uh, kick up off the coast right around the Mendocino triple point junction here between the uh, well you got the Gorda plate the uh, Pacific plate and the North American plate interaction here a uh, 3.6 striking pretty shallow up here uh, like I said just beyond that uh, Mendocino uh, fault system 3.6 and then uh, also had a uh, earthquake up around the Willow Creek area that one was a 2.9, somewhat deep, about 24 kilometers into the uh, subduction zone there of the Cascadia. Uh, movement along the eastern Sierra Nevada, spotty at best. Not a whole lot going on throughout the, the mountain regions. Uh, down here along the San Andreas Fault near Soledad, this is on the creeping section. Seeing some, uh, well, creeping earthquakes happening today in the low magnitude range between 1 and 2.0 in that area of the plate boundary. Uh, Ridgecrest area not seeing a whole lot of movement today to some spotty activity all below the 2.5 uh, threshold in that region. Same for about Southern California. We're not seeing any significant uptick or swarms to take note of. Uh, just some activity down at the southern end of the San Jacinto fault zone. Aside from that, things a little on the spotty side uh, along the area of Southern California today. Not a whole lot showing up through Oregon or Washington Got uh, one earthquake up here on the Seattle fault zone, a 1.7. It's definitely a fault system system to watch pretty closely. Uh, definitely capable of producing a uh, somewhat large magnitude earthquake through the uh, highly populated region of Seattle. Goes uh, right underneath it. it. Would not be a good day for a, a big earthquake on that fault, or any day for that matter. Yellowstone National Park, not seeing a whole lot of activity pop up here. This is the latest map here. Showing, uh, well, pretty clear across the board. Uh, not seeing any significant movement or any microquake swarms. A couple spotty activity around the little west thumb. But overall, looks like a pretty calm day there in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, let's see what else we got. Alaska area. Seeing uh, some movement way up north here. Um, looks like a 2.2 up there. At, uh, pretty shallow depths there north of the uh, Brooks range it looks like just to the north side and some movement um, pretty spotty activity throughout Denali Anchorage and the Cook Inlet area all shown some movement but uh, no major activity to report in the Alaska region today uh, same for the uh, Western Pacific here Japan Trench and the Kuril Kamchaka Trench all pretty quiet some spotty activity around the Philippines. This was some older movement uh, taking place yesterday. One earthquake here around the uh, Indonesia area, the, kind of at the northern end of the Java Trench, it looks like. 176 kilometers for that 4.6. Uh, 
Not a whole lot to report through the Solomon Islands or the Fiji area today. One earthquake here around Tonga. That one was from last night. 4.9, pretty shallow at 10 kilometers. So overall, global activity on a decline currently. But uh, don't uh, definitely don't let the silence fool you because it could kick in. You never know. Southeastern region uh, showing some activity, of course, today. One 2.1 around the uh, Pahala area of Hawaii, the Big Island, and the beautiful Pacific. Don't forget tonight, folks, we do have the uh, Tau Hercules meteor shower potential tonight. I say potential because it's going to be pretty much an all or nothing type event in terms of uh, if we're going to see a, a meteor storm or we might just see one or two meteors and that's it. We'll have to see how it plays out. No one knows for certain. But it's due to a comet that kind of broke up uh, in the mid-90s and a couple other prior dates as well that left some debris behind in space. And we will be traveling through that uh, debris. Uh, but uh, still uncertainty on how spectacular the storm will be. Either way, look towards the west, northwest. 10 p.m. west coast time here in California. You want to be out there around 9.30 or so, 9.45. Uh, the peak is supposed to be around 10. It's going to be 1 a.m for the eastern coast folks um so just yeah try to try to get out there see if you can spot something i'm hoping for something cool if not uh either way i'll get some some nice night shots because i'm going to bring out my uh i'm going to bring out my nikon camera and put up some long exposure shots and uh see what i can get far as meteors go hoping for something cool fingers crossed all right trimmer activity last night 250 epicenters of trimmer uh, mostly there into Northern California. That definitely explains the back building of pressure that we've seen today. Uh, with that 2.9, also that 3.5 that kicked up over here. Strong indicator of some winding up and some increasing pressure here along this uh, southern end of the Cascadia. Looking at the data map here from the Mount St. Helens region. These guys not showing any earthquake activity, um, at least recent anyway. We'll go ahead and check out the seismograph stations here, Mount St. Helens, and uh, see if there's anything uh, that we need to take note of today. And ch -ch 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 -ch. looks like there was a couple late uh, overnight, and here within the last 30 minutes or so, a couple small microquakes, but overall nothing spectacular going on. Looks like it. Maybe mellowing out a little bit, but there's still earthquake activity, right? We still see that. And uh, kind of kicking up there, but nothing significant going on. Uh, they're at the volcano in Washington, Mount St. Helens, that is. Uh, let's see what else we got. Some space weather, solar ham site. Not showing a whole lot kicking up here. Looks like quieter times on the Earth-facing side of the sun the past few days with no real flaring to report. A new sunspot region formed in the northwest quadrant and was assigned AR 3025. Looks like only a slight chance of some minor sea flares kicking up here. Uh, the, the KP index here was elevated overnight, stuck around the 3 range. That was due to uh, a CME with speeds above the 500 km range. Um, so we did see a little bit of roars at the higher latitudes, but overall, things uh, not super exciting here on the sun. In fact, it's <laughs> looking pretty minimal. Um, yeah, hopefully this changes real soon. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here. Have a good night. Uh, well, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later tonight, but have a good day. Enjoy the rest of the uh, Memorial Day. A little buoy out here in event mode but i don't see any reason why it would be in event mode looking at the data here itself doesn't really show a whole significant uh, movement here in uh, water column height at all sometimes these things go into into uh, i don't know default mode or some type of error mode but uh, that there is definitely nothing out of the norm in terms of any type of you know adjustment in the water or or uh, tsunami so uh, it looks like an error happening there we've been having some errors kick up here uh, with this one station uh, which they still haven't fixed they're just south of the java trench this one here like i say it's just kind of a 
kind of a weird looking error but other overall it looks like the uh, data is pretty consistent with the uh, water column height in that region uh, earthquakes canada let's go ahead and double check that here real quick before i head out and uh looks like a little bit of movement here at the northern end of the, the uh, pacific plate boundary and the north american plate here this blue line just north of the cascadia uh, where we're seeing all that trimmer so uh, a little activity nothing spectacular it looks like a couple earthquakes under the 2.0 region there uh, just outside of the vill village of Queen Charlotte BC area all right guys enjoy the rest of the day like I mentioned and uh, if we get any good shots tonight and if you guys get any good shots tonight and uh, you want to be featured on the uh, update tomorrow sometime after the meteor storm if we have it uh, feel free to send those photos and um, you know maybe where you're located at to the earth ma uh, earthmaster mail at gmail.com is the email I also have it here listed on the channel if you guys need to find that Earthmaster mail uh, again in the description. So, all right, guys, we'll chat at you a little bit later tonight. Take care.